younger brother, Wacom, went off to school at Columbia University in New York. Uh, he was at a freshman beer bust and he met a guy named Art Rosenbaum from New York. He was a New York native and Art was a collector of folk songs and played the banjo and sang folk songs and he introduced my brother to a lot of uh, folk music while he was in at Columbia University. And when he met, when my brother Lockton met Art Rosenbaum, Art says, you're from that little town in the south that the folk song is about. And uh, Lockton said, well, what are you talking about? He said, well, you're from Winsboro, and there is a folk song called the Winsboro Cotton Mill Blues. And so, uh, in truth, there is uh, one of the great folk song collectors who has published a, a good many anthologies of American folk songs. A uh, guy by the name of Alan Lomax has, in one of the anthology collections of folk songs, he has a uh, folk song called the Winsboro Cotton Mill Blues. And uh, I could uh, probably sing a few lines of it from you, but it starts out, it says, Old Man Sergeant, sitting at the desk, the damn old fool won't give us no rest. He take the nickels off a dead man's eyes to buy a Coca-Cola and Eskimo pie. I got the blues, I've got the blues, I've got the Winsburg Cotton Mill Blues. Uh, that's the sort of first refrain, ref, refrain of the song. And uh, it's got, when I die, don't bury me at all. Hang me up on the factory wall. Put a dolphin, a dolphin is something they weave through a mill loom. Put a, a dolphin in my hand and let me doff my way to the promised land. Then it's got, I got the blues, I got the blues, I got the Winsburg Cotton Mill Blues. Anyway, Lachlan, my brother, learned about the history of this song. Growing up, he didn't learn about it in Winsburg, he had to go all the way to New York City before he found out that that was a song folk song about his hometown. So Lachlan learned it. Lachlan learned to play the guitar when he was in uh, at Columbia University as a freshman and he brought the folk song back to where it originated, to Winsboro, South Carolina. And there was some controversy about whether it was Winsboro, South Carolina for sure, or Winsboro, Louisiana, or there's a Winsboro, Texas. So when I went to work for the newspaper in Columbia, the state newspaper, which is the uh, largest newspaper in South Carolina. I worked as a, a columnist, a, a feature writer. I covered the legislature a couple of years and state agencies and all that. But I decided to do a feature about the Winsboro Cotton Mill Blues. And I had a cousin who lived right down the street in an old two-story house that predates this house. His name is Harris McDonald. And I went to Harris and I, told, I showed Harris the lyrics from the folk song, and I said, Harris, when you were working at the cotton mill, was a man, a, a foreman named Sergeant. And he says, uh, yes, there was, a guy named Homer Sergeant. And he is still living, uh, my cousin told me, in, uh, in Columbia. So, uh, as it turned out, I was able to locate Homer Sergeant. He was up in his 90s, he was living with his son, and his uh, daughter-in-law in Columbia. And I interviewed Mr. Sargent, and I showed him a copy of the lyrics. And when he read uh, the old man Sargent, damn old fool won't give us no rest, uh, he was not very happy at all about the lyrics, and he thought mistakenly that I had written the lyrics. And uh, his, his daughter-in-law had to convince him that no, I was not the author of the lyrics, that somebody else had written the Winsboro Cotton Mill Blues the lyrics uh, many, many years ago. So just for the purpose of history, it should be recorded that Lachlan McDonald, who grew up in the house that I'm speaking from right now, uh, went up to New York City, met someone who was familiar with the Winsboro Cotton Mill Blues, and introduced him to the folk song that, was, that was, is about the, the uh, town that he grew up in.